Hey, what's up guys? It's Hossin from Saidia. Recently, one of my friends joined our school and while he was at Apple Store, he called me and he said, Hey bro, I'm at Apple Store right now and I want to buy the most powerful MacBook. Which one should I buy? Which one is the most powerful for coding? I was like, you realize that if you buy a most expensive one, it will cost you $3,000 or $4,000, right? You don't have to spend that much money. All you need is an average laptop that you can buy for $300, $400, at Best Buy or Costco. Plus, once you get into the market and land a six-figure seller job, your company will send a corporate laptop you will be working on. Plus, an awesome desk, a nice chair so you don't hurt your back, and maybe, if you're lucky, some bonus cash. Seriously, guys, especially if you don't have much cash sitting around, don't spend too much on laptops. So, my tip number one, you don't need a supercomputer to start coding. I wish someone told me that when I was starting out. Buying a powerful laptop will be a good decision once you start making a bank. When you land a six-figure salary job, and just to be clear, a six-figure salary is $100,000 and up. Tip number two, Googling is the most critical skill. No matter what, make sure to Google your problem first. Almost any coding problems might be fixed through Googling. Even in some interviews, you can just say that if you face any problem with your code, you Google it first and then you ask from your coworker. And even if, if you cannot fix it that way, then you might go to some forums like Stack Overflow and see if anyone can help you. Tip number three, a math nerd is not required. It's late 2022 and most people still think you need to be good in mathematics to get into coding. But in reality, all you need is a knowledge of a basic operators for most niches of computer science. So no, you don't have to be a math genius. Tip number four, version control is a must. Version control is probably the most important tool for a software developer. It saves, backups your code database and also enable you to collaborate with other developers. Tip number five, done is better than perfect. People judge you based on what you have done, not what you plan to do. Perfect is just another word to never. Tip number six, where you end up in five years is determined by what you do now. Reality is negotiable. Where you are currently in life is a direct result of what you have been doing in the past 5-10 years. Don't like it? Go and change it. And in 5-10 years, you will find yourself somewhere you are proved to be. Tip number 7. You don't need the right answer, just a less wrong one. People are so afraid of failing that they are even not giving it a shot. A failure is truly a failure only if you don't learn from it. And keep repeating the same mistakes. Tip number 8. It's a marathon, not a sprint. The development space is constantly evolving, so prepare yourself for lifelong learning. By putting in 100 hours a week, you will get tired quickly. Make sure to balance education and having a positive me time, so you don't burn out. In my case, hitting the gym helped me a lot, since I was sitting almost all day long, which is not good for your health. Plus, it's always a good habit to work out daily. Tip number nine, tutorials fail to teach you the most important skill. The most crucial skill is problem solving, which comes only through trial and error. Tutorials give you highly refactored final version of the code, so you miss out on seeing the skill in action. It would be best if you solve quizzes and other replits to improve your problem solving skill. So do your homework, do the replits and other quizzes. Tip number 10, a project is never complete. Learn a Pareto principle, 80% of the results come from 20% of the inputs. Find out the 20% that gives you the most results in your case and focus on those. Tip number 11. 11. The more you learn, the more you earn. The amount of money you earn is directly proportional to the amount of knowledge you possess. Not happy with what you are making? Pick up a new skill that are in high demand. Tip number 12, and this is gonna be the last one. Soft skills pay the bills. Hard skills get you in the room, but soft skills get selected. People hire who they enjoy working with. You will spend 8 hours a day with your coworkers. Most likely, you're not gonna spend 8 hours a day with your wife or children, unfortunately. So, soft skills or social skills are essential. Guys, if you are not in IT yet and want to give it a shot, make sure to sign up for one of our side deal programs below. We have 30 days money back guarantee, so if you don't like something, no problem, take your money back link in the description so there you have it guys these are 12 habits that i wish i had known it before i start coding hopefully it was insightful for you and if it was make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this and if you have any other questions please let me know